and insult the messenger and insult Islam and the Muslims that he wishes to ban the hijab that he wishes to take away the Quran that he wants to close down the Islamic centers that what he says is in the hearts of every government in Europe we can see that everything that he says is in the heart of every disbeliever Now brothers and sisters do you love Rasulullah? Yes! Do you love Rasulullah? Yes! More than yourself? Yes! Will you uphold his honor? Yes! When these things happen, we speak up. Your words, your voices, they are very important. They mean that we as an Ummah, we speak for the Ummah. We refuse to accept our Habib, our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to be denigrated and attacked in this way. We refuse Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar! My last message is to Barack Obama. Your love for your freedom is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing compared to our love for a full life. And Barak, since you're so ashamed of your Muslim heritage, let me remind you. Let me remind you of why we love our Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers, when the angel of death came to the door of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was with his daughter Fatima, his beloved Fatima. And there was a knock on the door. And Fatima went to the door and she didn't recognize the man. And she said, my father is here, go away. And when Fatima came back, she, the prophet asked, who was this man? And she described him. He said, oh my daughter, that was the angel of death. Brothers, the angel of death does not give you the time, the respect to come to your door. He doesn't care about your door. He doesn't care about your daughter. He comes and takes your life. Look at the respect of the angel of death for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Where's Jibreel? Why have you come here without Jibreel? So the angel of death brothers negotiated and went back and asked for Jibreel. Look at the status of our Rasul with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't do that for any other prophet. When Jibreel came, he said, Ya Rasulullah, what, what, what do you want from me? And he said, I want to know what my rights are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jibreel said, your rights are that all the angels and all the creation are waiting for you, Ya Rasulullah. They are waiting impatiently for you to come. And all the all the day, all the gates and all the doors of, of Jannah are open for you, Rasulullah. We are waiting for you. The Prophet didn't move. So Jibreel asked, Why are you not moving, Rasulullah? He said, I want to know what is the status of my Ummah, not of me. Subhanallah. This is a man on his deathbed, brothers. He is in the final hours of his life. And he's not asking about himself. He said, what's the status of my Ummah? He loved his Ummah more than he loved himself. Our Prophet, our Nabi, our Habib was bartering on his deathbed for the well-being of our Ummah, of us, of me and you, sinful and grateful servants of, of, of Allah. And he's bartering for us. And then he carried on. And Jibreel was witnessing the Prophet وسلم, in pain. So he turned round. The Prophet said, why have you turned around, Jibreel? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I can't bear to witness the pain that you are in. So I've turned my back. So the Prophet said, indeed, I understand. But this pain of Sakat al-Mawd is very painful. But I want you to request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me, Rasulullah, all the pain of the mouth of all the Ummah. For from now until Yawm al-Qiyamah.